Hello, my dear. I'm Dr. Alam Musbah, professor of obstetrics and the gynecology faculty of Medicine Mansour University. Let us discuss some OSCE in family planning. Okay, let us start with station one. Please look to this picture. What is shown in picture A and B? In picture A, this is copper T IUD 380. Copper T IUD 380. What is picture? What is shown in picture B? This is levonorgestrel releasing intrauterine system. For example, Mirena. Okay. What is the advantage of A and what is the advantage of B? Advantage of A, it is long lasting contraceptive method, can be used up to nine years. Also, the advantage is less expensive long duration of action suitable for intolerant patient also it can be used for other reason rather than contraception any other indication like in Asherman syndrome after lysis of the intrauterine adhesion we can insert foreign body like ID as a continuation of the management. Okay. What is the advantage of Marina for levonorgestrel releasing intratrans system? It can be used for five years. Also suitable for intolerant patient who can not use pills who forget the pill every now and then so even registered raising into a trans system is a long lasting for five years also being a liver registered leasing it has an effect on the endometrium leading to decreased menstrual flow and sometimes it can be used also in cases with heavy menstrual bleeding due to adenomyosis. Also can be used as a management in endometriosis. So there is contraceptive indication and the other non-contraceptive indication. Okay. okay. In case of abnormal uterine bleeding after exclusion of malignancy, in case of adenomyosis, endometriosis. We can use levonorgestrel releasing intrauterine system. But the disadvantage is being expensive. Okay? Okay. What is the method of insertion of A? Insertion method of insertion of A before the procedure tasks before procedure counseling. The patient about the how we will insert the IUD and the possible side effects and the advantage and disadvantage. The patient should evacuate her bladder. All instruments should be ready, like self-retaining vaginal speculum, casco speculum, or gravis speculum. We try and sound and tenaculum or botsalum and antiseptic iodine and piece of gauze and gauze forces. Tasks related to the insertion patient lie in dorsal position, separate both labia with left hand. While with right hand, try to insert the vaginal speculum edgewise till half of the blade, then rotate 90 degree and complete the insertion 
then open the plate you will see the portion of the cervix this is the exposure of the portion of the cervix then lock the screw now the portion of the cervix is exposed and the vaginal speculum in place by the way before inserting speculum you should do abdominal examination and the pelvic examination by manual examination to exclude any mass or tenderness or any signs of bid after exposure of the cervix be careful to exclude any infection because if there is infection you should delay the insertion until treatment of this infection next step is to hold the anterior lip of the cervix with volcellum or pinaculum gently then insert IUD insert sorry insert the uterine sound gently through the external os internal os till the fundus first resistance is the internal loss second resistance is the front why we are using uterine sound to detect the position of the uterus ABF or RBF and to detect the length of the trying cap because this measurement of length is important then remove the uterine sound after applying ring forceps at the external os withdraw the sound see the measure of the uterine cavity then load the transverse arm of IUD inside the inserter tube then put the flank at the level of the lens of the uterine cavity then insert then insert the tube loaded with id inside the uterus till reaching the fundus then withdraw a little bit and then was use the withdrawal technique by holding the root inside the insertion tube Hold that in place, then withdraw the insertion tube, then the arms will be released inside the uterus, then remove the root, then remove the insertion tube and the cut threads about 2 to 3 centimeters from external os. Then remove the speculum after you inspect the cervix there is no bleeding if there is bleeding at the side of volcellum tooth then do some pressure which goes on the side of the bleeding if there is no bleeding it's okay remove the volcellum and remove the vaginal speculum then there is tasks post the procedure what are the tasks post to the procedure? You should give some information to the patient about the follow-up, about the possible mild cramps after insertion. You should tell her about the dangerous symptoms like severe bleeding or pain. And you should instruct her to do follow up and to ask for advice if she cannot feel the streets of the ID. This is as regard the copper T ID, as regard the tasks before the procedure and the tasks of insertion and tasks post insertion. Okay? Okay. What are the complications of copper T? There may be heavy menstruation in 80% of the women, maybe reaching up to bleeding, 
transmission of infection, perforation of the uterus during insertion, all these are complications that may happen. Okay, let us go to the next station, station two. Station two, what is shown in this picture? What is shown in this picture? This is the vaginal ring, for example, nova ring. What is the indication? It is used as a contraceptive method. How it works? It contains both estrogen and progestogen. So it acts like COC pills, combined oral contraceptive pills, because it looks like the COC in that it contains estrogen and progestogen. What is the duration of use? It is inserted inside the vagina at this level for 21 days, then 7 days free, then repeat by a new one. Okay, this is the vaginal ring used as a contraceptive monthly like COC. Let us go to the next look to this picture and what is shown in A and B. This is subdermal implants. In A, it is single root subdermal implant called embelanone. What is the hormone released from embelanone? Etonorgesterol. Figure B, this is subdermal implant called norplan. Norplan, six roots inserted subdermal, releasing Levonorgestrel. What is the advantage and disadvantage for side effects? The advantage of A and B, A can be used as a contraceptive for a long duration up to three years, while B can be used also for a long duration but up to five years. Okay? Okay. So, long-lasting contraception. What is the disadvantage? Disadvantage that may happen is irregular bleeding or spotting. Sometimes amenorrhea was time developed. Salt and water retention and weight gain. Headache. Acne may happen, so this is some of the disadvantage. Okay, okay. Let us go to the next station four. Look to this picture. What is shown in A and B? A is combined contraceptive pills containing estrogen and progestogen. 21 tablet taken once daily at the same time for 21 days and seven days free then repeat. What is shown in B? This is progestogen only pills. Progestogen only pills. 28 pills taken daily at the same time, then repeat without three days. So continuous. Okay. What is the advantage of A and what is the advantage of B? Advantage of A and can be used to regulate the cycle because it is taken for 21 days and 7 days, then repeat. So, 
can be used to regulate the cycle, especially those with irregularity of the menstrual cycle. Also, it can be used as a treatment in endometriosis. This is another advantage. What is the advantage of B? It is progestogen only pills. So it has no estrogen and no side effect of estrogen. So this is this contain only single hormone progestogen. It can be used during lactation, especially during the first six months, without or with minimal changes in milk. So we consider it safe for breastfeeding. This is the progestogen only pills. Okay, okay. Let us go to the station five. Look to this picture, please. What is shown in A and B? In A, as you see here and here, this is vaginal diaphragm, one of the barrier contraception. Okay, okay. B, this is spermicidal cream or gel inserted inside the diaphragm before application to the surface. Why B is used? B is used to enhance the contraceptive efficacy of vaginal diaphragm because we added another method which is a spermicidal here okay okay which type of contraceptive a is a barrier contraception okay this is as regard tuition five mention other Barrier contraception, male condom, the male condom or vaginal condom, and cervical cap and sponge contraception. Okay. Okay. This is the end of this discussion about ASCII and family planning. Please remember my books published on Amazon, textbook of obstetrics, textbook of gynecology, contraception handbook, and the multiple choice question book. This is my site as an author, this, and this is my site on YouTube channel, and this is another scientific site belong to me. Thank you, everybody.